It was another fun night at Ball Arena. The Nuggets getting their seventh straight victory. And tonight, some of it was about the supporting cast. Faku Capazzo getting his second start as a Nugget. And JaVale McGee coming up big in a reserve role tonight. Welcome, everybody. I'm Chris Marlow with Katie Wingy and Scott Hastings. And uh, this is the start of a two-game series. They'll play again on Friday. And, Katie, let's start with you. Uh, this is an important win for the Denver Nuggets. Yeah, it really is. And, again, this is another win that they should have gotten, and they found a way to get done. It wasn't the prettiest of wins, and there were some lapses and some runs that the Spurs went on. But now you go back, you watch the film, and you look at what you liked, what you didn't like. You make some adjustments, and then you'll play them again on Friday, Scott Hastings. So, I guess in your eyes, what do you think the Nuggets need to sharpen up to get another win? Well, they, they got to watch the turnovers because – it, the, the good thing is you force them to turn it over a little more than they normally do as well, and you close down the lane from what you did to start that game. So if you could, could do, do that, they're not a great three-point shoot uh, shooting team anyway. If you can do those things, clean up the turnovers and keep the lane clean, then, then you should win Friday and get ready for the Celtics on a Sunday afternoon. Well, as you know, the Denver Nuggets have an MVP candidate, and he was brilliant once again tonight. Uh, just missed another triple-double, and he took charge. When they really needed him, I thought, uh, Scott Hastings, in the third quarter, yeah. he turned things around after the Spurs had started on a 12 nothing run. Yeah, and they had, they had that quick timeout, and you came out of that timeout, and Joker said, okay, I'm going to take this game over, and he's either scoring or setting up a score for somebody else. And Listen, he was just pretty dominant. That's, that's as good a footwork move, by the way, Katie, as you'll ever see. And I, I, I thought I thought he was not going to let the team win after that first time out in the third quarter. Well, and head coach Michael Malone gets ejected fighting for him to get foul calls. And so Nikola Jokic, it was almost like when that happened, he said, okay, I got you, coach. I'm going to take over. I'm going to handle this. And, again, producing at a super high level for this Nuggets yeah, team. Terrific uh, defensive effort tonight for the Denver Nuggets. They hold the Spurs to just 96 points. Now 10-0 and when they hold a team under 100. Part of that uh, defense was JaVale McGee. Extended action for JaVale. What did you like best, Katie, about what JaVale did tonight? His energy. It was absolutely contagious. The moment he stepped on the floor, he changed what it felt like for the Denver Nuggets to be playing. Obviously, such a presence defensively. I believe he told Scott Hastings a vertical presence. That was the uh, exact <laughs> phrasing exactly. that he used. And you can tell. I mean, he altered shots. He got blocks. And then he threw down like this, Scotty. It was fun to watch. Watch him. It was fun to see him out on this floor. Yeah, and, and listen, and I asked him that question also. You, you really wanted to be here, and and I, I don't think you can sleep on that. I, you know, he was a young guy when he first got here. I think he's a more mature man, a father, as he told Chris Dempsey, uh, coming back, and and he may be, you know, he may just be that perfect guy of the bench that they need. You know, all the stuff he can do physically, but. I think guys listen to him. I think he's got an ear in the locker room already. Nuggets uh, beat the Spurs for the sixth straight time in Denver. It was an unusual game because the Nuggets aren't known to be a big dunking team, but tonight they had it all going on. They had ball arena jamming. That's what was going on. There you Slam go. jams all over the place. Uh, and a lot of those were in fast break situations. The Nuggets had 18 fast break points, but a season high 11 dunks and guys were just throwing it down i mean the athleticism was on full display it was putbacks it was pick and rolls and scotty it was so much fun to be a part of and to watch this happen for the nuggets and, and i don't even think they know each other yet you know and there was a couple more times i thought katie they could have got that to javel on some rolls and they'll figure it out uh, we we talked about it on my radio show the other day but I see JaVale's roll, that second unit, high pick and roll, and go right to the rim. And let's see if that gets him some easy shots, the, the guy with the ball some easy shots, and then guess what's going to happen? We talked about in the open, those guys with the three are going to get some shots too. Yeah, the passing was amazing tonight. The 17th straight game that the Nuggets have had 25 or more assists. They are, they are whipping it around, aren't they? It's so fun to watch. And the chemistry just continues to evolve with these guys. They're going to know each other better, like Scotty just mentioned. And I think that you're seeing that in the assists. Guys are getting each other the basketball in positions to be successful. Yeah, All we, right, had, we had that stat real fast, Chris. We had that stat in the pregame. They're like 23-6 and six when they have 26 assists or more. That's I mean, pretty good. I mean, that's, I mean that, that's, that's just like a stupid number right there. <laughs> All right, the Denver Nuggets riding a seven-game win streak, their longest uh, since 2019. That's a wrap on this game. The Nuggets win it 106 to 96, and that completes it. And next Friday, coming up, 
the Denver Nuggets match up with the Spurs again. A little bit unusual, but uh, as Michael Malone said, they had a couple of these this year, and uh, they'll be ready for it. So we'll be on the air at 6 p.m. right here on Altitude. Hope you join us then.